Hello and welcome to Nova Scotia and welcome to the Optimistic Gardener in the Kitchen series of videos where I'm looking to sort of show you different ideas of how you can turn all that beautiful veg that you've been growing in your garden Ooh. into some delicious dishes and this week I am looking at preserving that harvest the, you know all the tomatoes and the, and the peppers etc etc that you've been growing all season long into sort of sauces and chutneys and jams etc and this is the culmination of all of my chutneys sauces and jams i'm canning and doing the old uh, sort of long-term wa water bath method i am by no means any sort of expert at this in fact i'm a ballywell novice so um, this is this hence why this is not a how to um, can your sauces, tomatoes, etc. This is more along of um, come and have a laugh to see how I get on. But I've got all my gear, I've got my jars, I've got my sort of uh, tongs, I've got my whatever that's called, I've got all my lids, I've sterilised my lids. I'll come to that in a moment. I've just literally done another sauce here and uh, I've got a couple of sauces that I did yesterday and I'm going to put them all in and can them all today. So that is my plan for this video. So, um, like I said, I have got, I've just done a tomato sauce. So this is my absolutely delicious tomato, garlic and basil pasta sauce. I did the first one I did at the start of this week. Um, so I've knocked up another batch because it's absolutely delicious and uh, I've got loads of San Marzano tomatoes coming at the moment and the sort of last bits of basil and I want to use that up to sort of tasting it later on in the autumn winter time. So what do I want to do? Well apparently after all my reading I need, so I'll sterilise my jar and the uh, for some reason I can't think of what that is. That is a, it's not a sieve, it's something or another. <laughs> So I need to take my sauce, which I have beautifully cooked, and put it in my jar. And I'm going to fill that nearly to the top. Absolutely beautiful smell. I put extra basil in today, just to give it that real basil flavour. This is going to take most of the sauce actually. I need to keep some because I want to make a pizza tonight. Or well, in fact Mrs F wants to make a pizza tonight, which is a rare treat. There we go. Nearly there. The last couple of bits. Probably a bit much. Well, I think that was settled. So, the next thing I need to do is apparently put in a, tea, a tablespoon of lemon juice, which is a bit annoying, sort of affecting the flavour, but apparently, due to the acidity of the tomatoes, it can cause um, some sort of nasty germs to, to uh, start up if I don't put this in. So I'm going to do that. All the things I've looked at though, don't tell me what I do with it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stir it in a bit. And if I'm dead from food poisoning in a couple of months time, you'll know why. Right, so put that in the jar. Now I need, where's my damp cloth? I haven't got one. Mrs. F has tidied it away without me looking. Right, so I need a damp paper towel of some sort. I just want to wipe the sides of this off. To tell you the truth though, I'm not sure this is actually going to 
last be lasting that long in the jar anyway because um, we enjoy it so much we just uh, eat it all the time. So I'd, I'd need to have a hell of a lot of bottles to uh, not go through. Right, uh, you're supposed to have some sort of um, plastic utensil and go around the sides to stop any air bubbles. But I can't see there really being any air bubbles down there anyway. I can imagine if you're canning tomatoes, you would. Um, so I'm gonna not do that, and plus I haven't got a plastic spatula anyway. It's one of the big things I forgot to uh, purchase. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put a lid on it. Now, I've had these lids in, in some boiling water, boiled them for about 10 minutes. So, I have this, I bought the kit, so the kit was quite good. Came with these tongs, this um, magnetic lid lifter, and obviously that um, thingamajig. Funnel, that's it, that funnel. So it came with that funnel. Right, so I've got a lid. So that is nicely sterilized. And we're going to put that on, et voila. Now I'm going to put the lid on, not the lid. Right, so I think I just need to put it on, not too tight, tight enough, but not too tight. Because obviously now, when we put this in the water bath, it's going to heat up and boil, and that's going to force any remaining air out of the container. That is allegedly it. Now, I'm just going to get... So, I've already done this, I had a bit of a test tester the other day. So we've got this one I've done, and this one has not been water bathed yet. If you um, press that in, I don't know if you can see it on the actual video, the lid pushes down. Now, when I do it with this one, it doesn't. That means it's the seal is on there, so that's good. So what I'm going to do, I put lemon juice in there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Right, so this is my roasted garlic and basil sauce. Here is a roasted garlic and basil sauce that I've already done. Let's get the lid for that. Two. This one is my tomato, chili and coriander or cilantro sauce. Absolutely delicious. Mrs. S favourite. I want to sort of try and keep them separate. Same again. my collection is the old tomato tomato and onion chutney another beauty right there we go right so my next plan of attack is I've got so I need to heat that water up it's half heated at the moment I need to heat that water up and put these in the water. And I think I'm going to put them in the water now so that there's not too much of a shock um, in the difference in the temperature between the glass now and the glass going straight into boiling water so that otherwise it might crack. So that's what I'm going to do. Come and join me. Okay, so we are nearly ready to go. Got the can of water. It's on, nearly on the boil. Got me jars, got me jar picker upper. Um, I've also, you should really have a rack underneath, uh, at the bottom of the, of the, uh, the tin so that the jars aren't directly 
on the heat, you know, the heat from the pan transferring directly onto the bottom of the, of the can. Um, so I haven't got one of them. So what I've done is I've just folded up a tea towel, put that in there, um, and that should do the trick. So that's one gizmo I didn't have. Right, so let's have a dabble. Let's get our can in there. So that's the small can. So we want at least a couple of inches or an inch or so of water above the, uh, the can lid. So that's the small one. What's that? That is What's that one? Roasted garlic, I think. Oh, we'll soon, eh? hang on. No, that is the coriander. Right, I'm going to have to remember that. Coriander on one side. I have too much water in there. I didn't allow for displacement. How can a naval person not allow for displacement? Right, emergency. What have I got? One more, I think. So we can already see, I don't know, can you see? There's air already starting to come out of the actual, uh, from the lids of the jars. So I'm gonna put, bring this to the boil and then I'm gonna let it boil for 30 minutes. And then that should be good to go. And then once we've done that, let them cool down. And then by tomorrow, we'll know by pressing on the old can lid, whether it's worked or not. So that's tomorrow, we'll have a look at that tomorrow morning. First the things first, let's give this 30 minutes. Well no, actually I'll let it boil, come to the boil, then I'll give it 30 minutes. Right, so this has been on for 30 minutes. Ooh. What I'm gonna do, I'll take it off, I'm just gonna take it off the heat now. And let it cool in the water for a little while, because I don't want to take it out and then um, sort of massive change in temperature, crack the jars or something like that. So I'm going to take it easy, let them cool down a little bit, and then I'll uh, take them out. Okay, that's still steaming, but I think it's uh, cooled down a bit. That's fingers crossed, eh? So let's have a look. So I'm gonna put these, I've got them on a rack here in a tray because they're wet, you know, they were damp. Still, um, oh, hang on. Coriander and chili ones they are. This is the roasted garlic. Well, don't seem to have cracked, so that's good. Ooh. Last one. I think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Right, so that has still got a bit of a thing. So what I'm gonna do, is so I'm gonna leave these to cool down overnight, and then we'll come back and see if we got the old uh, push test and see if that's worked. So let's leave that there, and we'll come back and have a look tomorrow morning. Hello, welcome back. It's the next morning. Excuse the rig change. I've organized a, a team golf event and lunch afterwards for my project team. And uh, 
got to get into the, uh, the swing of things, haven't you? Nice bit of golf attire. Anyway, back to the uh, matter at hand. Actually, I'm looking forward to it today. New, new little golf course close to us. Only a nine hole, but it's, um, it's, uh, it's got some nice holes, etc. And then lunch at the Tuna Blue in, in Hubbard's, which is just around the corner there. So I'm not getting uh, money for advertising. Always got to support your, your local businesses. And the Tuna Blue has an absolutely stunning view over our nice little harbour here in Hubbard's. If you're ever in Nova Scotia, always worth a visit. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. So, here we are. Next day, has the, um, has the canning worked? Well, I think so. So, they all look good. And if I do the press test, it is hard as rock. Now, there's one other test I can do. I can try anyway. It is the take the lid off. That is sucked on now, that lid, allegedly. So if I turn that upside down, whoo, heart was going then. Whether I've messed everything else up, I don't know, but at least I know that that lid is sucked on, vacuumed on nicely. So there we go. You thought it was gonna come out then, didn't you? Anyway, so there, there, there's my little effort at, at canning. Quite pleased with that. Obviously the proof will be in the pudding uh, in a you know, few weeks, few months time when I open them up and they're, um, they either kill me or there's mold all over them. But I think it's worked. I've, done, I've followed most everything I'm supposed to have done. And that is the culmination of my week of Preserve Your Harvest uh, videos. I'm really pleased I did them. I've got some really good feedback from you guys. So thank you very much for that. It's always good to get feedback. And uh, a lot of you have loved the sort of series of videos. Hope you try. Get, put in the comments, let me know if you've tried any of the recipes and, and whether you like them, etc. I do love cooking. I mean, to me, that's the whole point of my veg growing is, you know, growing the food that I really want to eat and then cooking it and, and, and hopefully showing you guys my uh, love of the veg and, and the food. Now, what was the other thing? Oh, back to gardening now, isn't it, really? I, I, this week of cooking, I, I've, I've um, need to get back out there and do some tidying up for autumn now. Lots of things to do in the autumn. Although, I've got some more work to do in the kitchen. Still not finished um, decorating the kitchen. And quite a few of you guys have, have mentioned the kitchen and the pallet work. So I'm gonna do a little video on sort of showing you, you know, the, the bits that I've already done the backslash, etc. But I've got a, a nice little spice rack shelf I'm going to make, and some other sort of bits and bobs here and there. Mrs. F wants me to make some sort of um, book, a box that I can put the books in that she's seen on Pinterest or whatever it is. So I'll, I'll be doing a little video on that next week sometime. But let's get back in the garden and do some real autumn work. Sauce is done. Week of preserves. Jobs are good. See you later.